What's up guys, my name is Hafo and today I've got like the most requested tutorial I've like ever been asked for. I don't even know quite why it was so requested, but it was. And uh, as you will see in the preview, what we were doing was showing I'm showing you how to do like the pulsing effect in After Effects. I've already done this tutorial on Sony Vegas and I'll leave that in the description if you want to watch it in Sony Vegas, but as you can see all it does is just pulses the screen like so. It's very very easy. Uh, the reason I haven't done one on this before is because I just genuinely prefer doing it in Vegas, but uh, lots of you wanted to see this really badly, so uh, I thought I would do it for you guys. And uh, all I've done is I've synced up, I've I've basically twixed, this is the clip I used in my last tutorial, and uh, all I've done is twixted on the reload in a sec, you'll see. Um, there, I've twixted that, and uh, as it reloads... Um, like the beat starts like there. I'll just quickly show you. Right, so first of all I'm just going to uh, turn the sound off on that, okay. Right, so in order to find the beats on After Effects you're just going to drop down on the songs that you want and then cl drop down the audio and then where it says waveform you're also going to drop that down. Now, as you will see, mine's brought up quite a nice, uh, quite a, a simple rhythm to follow. Really, it's just the bars, uh, the big, the bigger bars being the beat, um, and that's what we're gonna do the pulsing on. So, um, in order to do the pulse, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down on a, our clip, and where it says transform, you're gonna drop that down, and then where it says scale, you're just gonna drop that down too. Now, what I do is so you've keyframed that there on the first beat. So I'm going to change that to 110, the scale. Um, so as you can see, it's zoomed in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back two frames and change my scale to 100. And as you will see, over them two frames, it just zooms in. Right, now. Now we just go simply to the next beat, to the very start of the beat. We're going to set the keyframe for 110 again. As just by pushing that little diamond, go back two frames and set it to 100. It is so simple and uh, and it looks pretty nice. You can you can adjust like how far you want it to zoom and like the frequency, obviously, and you can play around. You don't have to go back two frames, but you just you can if you want. Uh, I'm just going to do it to the to the end of the clip. So lay your keyframe, go back two frames, set it to 100. Uh, yeah. And then, I think that I went back three then. I think I might have gone one back one too many then. No, I didn't. But, uh, yeah, so go forward to the next beat. And, as I said, you, you don't have to go back two frames. You can go back a few more if you want, or a few less, or one less. And uh, that's it. That, that's the tutorial that you've all been desperate for. Uh, I know it's a very short one. You can add some motion blur. What I usually do is I'd render that out. Add some real smart motion blur, and it just makes it look a whole lot nicer. Uh, let me just show you what I've done. So, all I was doing was setting 110 on the beat, go back two frames, set it to 100, go to the next beat, and carry on, do the same. It's really, 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 really easy. So, let's, let's just have a look. As you will see, that took me literally like 30 seconds to do. Uh, the song I used was Dead Mouse Strobe. I'll leave that in the description if you want. Uh, you might want to practice. I'll also leave the clip in the description. Um, that's just if you want to have a little practice with it, you can. Uh, it's really, 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 really easy. Um, and it's very effective as well. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please let me know by liking the video and leaving a comment if you want. And uh, if you want to tell your friends or whatever, uh, you can. I'm hopefully getting a promo made sometime soon, and uh, so just, if you know anyone who can do promos or whatever, um, if you could get back to me or just leave a comment or message me, um, that'd be awesome. So thank you for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.